I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on preparation for mathematics. Here we have a test sample, numeracy test. We need to answer 10 questions without calculator. These are basic mathematics questions which forms the foundation for most students going into high school. So question number one here is to evaluate 11 minus minus 3 whole square, B is minus 1 over 3 plus minus 5 over 12, and C is minus 4 square minus minus 2 whole square divided by 1 minus minus 2 whole cube. So in this test question, we are only checking how to work with the integers, exponents, and fractions. So let us see how to solve such question. We have 11 minus minus 3 whole square. So first we have to do things in the bracket. So what we get here is 11 minus minus 3 square is 9. Correct. Now we'll do 11 minus 9 and that gives us the value as 2. So 2 is the answer. The second one, which is a fraction, we need to write with the same denominators. So here it is 3, the other one is 12, the lowest common multiple which is common to both is 12. So to make this 4, 12, we'll write this as minus 4 over 12, right? Multiplying both by 4. Plus and minus will give us negative 5 over 12. And these two negatives will give us negative 9 over 12. We can divide it by 3. So we get 3 over 4 with a negative sign. So that becomes the answer. Clear? So at this stage, we kind of just cancel with 3, so we get 3 over 4. The next one here is minus 4 whole square minus minus 2 whole square. Now when the minus is outside, it remains there as negative. 4 square is 16. Here we have minus and then minus 2 whole square, which is positive 4. In the denominator, we have 1 minus minus 2 cube. Cube of a negative number is negative. So we get here minus 8. 2 times 2 times 2. That gives you negative 20 in the numerator and the denominator will be 1 plus 8. So what we have here is minus 20 over 9 as our answer. Is that clear to you? Right? So that is how we are going to answer this question. Question number 2. So we'll again learn some rules of uh, order of operation and work with integers. Question number two is to evaluate 14 minus minus 12 times minus 3 divided by 7 minus minus 3 divided by minus 2. So let's do part A first. Let me rewrite this. It is 14 minus minus 12 times minus 3 divided by 7 minus minus 3 so all this will be divided by negative 2, right? So I hope now it is clear. So first you need to perform this multiplication. So when you do that, you get 14 minus, and here minus minus makes it positive. So we get positive 36, right? In the denominator, we have to do things in the bracket first. 7 minus minus 3 makes it 7 plus 3, right? So let's rewrite this as 7 plus 3. And then we'll divide this by minus 2, okay? So here we get 14 minus 36. Sign will be negative, And 6 take away 4 is 2. And 3 take away 1 is also 2. In the denominator, we have 7 plus 3 is 10. And 10 will be divided by minus 2. So we have 10 divided by minus 2, which will be minus 5. Okay? So what we get here is basically minus 22 divided by 10 divided by minus 2 is minus 5. So we get a positive result, which is 22 over 5. You can leave this as a improper fraction, or you could also convert this to mixed numbers. So we could also write this as 4 whole, right? So which is 22 over 5. Let's do this question now. 5 square plus minus 3 whole square plus 2. So, and the denominator is 
within brackets minus 2 minus minus 4 to the power of 5. Let me rewrite slightly bigger. So we have 5 square plus minus 3 square plus 2 in the numerator and in the denominator we have square brackets minus 2 minus minus 4 and to the power of 5 is outside the brackets. 5 square is 25 plus minus 9 square is 9 plus 2 so all of them become positive minus 2 minus minus 4 means we have minus 2 minus minus makes it plus 4 and everything to the power of 5 right so that gives us 25 plus 9 which is 34 plus 2 is 36 divided by minus 2 plus 4 is 2 we get 2 to the power of 5 right so that is 36 we can write here 36 to 2 to the power of 5 is 32 right now we can simplify this multiplying dividing both by 4 4 times 9 and 4 times 8 and so what we get here is our solution which is 9 over 8 or we can write this as 1 1 over 8 is that clear to you right so that is how we're going to solve it question number three here we have these two bars which indicate uh, absolute functions, right? So let me rewrite this. We have minus 2, absolute value of 8 minus 12 plus 5. And then from this we'll take away absolute 2 and uh, minus minus 4 makes it plus 9. And this is minus 14, right? Divided by... 2 minus 3 within the bracket, 2 minus 7, sorry, let me rewrite first, okay, times absolute value of 3 plus minus 4 absolute value, okay. So let's calculate this now. So we'll work within the absolute numbers, so we have minus 2 outside, absolute value of 8 plus 5 is 13, take away 12 is 1, right, so that is absolute value 1 minus, here we have 2 plus 9 is 11 minus is minus 3 right so minus 3 divided by 2 minus 7 is minus 5 and we have absolute value of 3 plus minus 4 which is minus 1 so we get here minus 2 and minus this becomes a positive value right so positive value times minus will give us minus 3 divided by this is also a positive value let me rewrite so we actually get minus 2 times 1 minus and that becomes plus 3 the absolute value of minus 3 right so here we have minus 5 times plus 1 because absolute value of minus 1 is 1 so minus 5 times plus 1 is minus 5 so what we have here is equal to minus 5 over minus 5 which is equal to 1 clear the next question here is minus 3 times the absolute value of 8 plus 5. So we could write this as equals to minus 3 times absolute value of minus 8 plus 5 is minus 3 plus absolute value of minus 2 minus 9 is minus 11 plus 13 is plus 2, right? So that gives you minus 3 times 3 plus 2 and that is minus 9 plus 2 and that is minus 7 so we get minus 7 as our answer now question number 14, fourth is regarding fractions so we have to evaluate minus 2 over 3 plus minus 1 over minus 4 let's rewrite this so we can write this as minus 2 over 3 plus minus minus becomes plus so we get 1 over 4 and we have to divide this by, we have here minus 2 over 5, and this minus minus becomes plus. Now, taking common denominator of 12, 4 times 3, we will multiply this, we get minus 8, cross multiply, plus 3, divided by, okay, here the common denominator is 10, so we get minus 4 plus 5. Now division is reciprocal of multiplication, correct? So we'll perform two operations here. Minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5 over 12. We'll do multiplication, write 10 on the top. And minus 
4 plus 5 is 1. That's what we get. Now we could simplify this a bit. Dividing these by 2, we get 5 and 6. And so we could write this as equal to minus 25 over 6. Is it clear to you? Now this could be written as 6 times 4, right? Is 24, 1 over 6. Now let's perform the op operations on part B. 3 to the power of minus 1 minus 3 to the power of minus 2 divided by 2 to the power of minus 1 plus 2 to the power of minus 3. Now 3 to the power of minus 1 is 1 over 3 minus this is 1 over 3 square, correct? Divided by 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 cube, clear? So when we have 2 to the power of minus 3, it is a reciprocal. Now, we could rewrite this as 1 over 3 minus 1 over 9 over 1 over 2 plus 1 over 8. Common denominator in the numerator is 9. And to make this 9, we have to multiply by 3. So we get 3 minus 1 divided by common denominator here is 8. To make 8, I have to multiply by 4. So we get 4 plus 1, correct? So this you get as 2 over 9 divided by 5 over 8, so which you could write as 2 over 9 times 8 over 5, correct? So we get 16 over 9 times 9 times 5, which is 9 times 5 is uh, 45. So we get this, and there are no common multiples here. So that becomes our answer. So let's move on and take question number 5. Question number 5 is, if x equals to minus 3, y equals to minus 1, and z equals to 2, evaluate 4x square y square plus xy minus x y cube z. So let's rewrite the expression. We have 4x square y square plus xy minus xy cube z, right? Let's substitute the values. 4, right? x is minus 3, minus 3 square, y is minus 1, minus 1 square, plus x is minus 3 times minus 1, minus x is minus 3, y is minus 1 cube, and z is 2, right? So, now, we have minus 3 square is 9, minus 1 square is positive 1, minus minus makes it plus 3 when we multiply, minus, so here we get minus 3 times cube of minus 1 is minus 1 and times 2. So we get 4 times 9 is 36 plus 3. Here we have 3 negatives, 1, 2, and 3. So the net result is negative. Multiplying, we get 3 times 2 is 6. So taking away 6 and then adding 3, we get 33 as our answer. Correct? We are done the, we are already halfway through. Here is question number six. Now we need to substitute fractions in the given expression, right? So we are given 3y minus 2xy plus 5x times x over 3x squared. x is minus 1 over 5 and y is minus 1 over 3, right? So we write 3 times minus 1 over 3 minus 2 times x is minus 1 over 5 times y, which is minus 1 over 3. Now, negative should be written like this, right? So, whether if there's only one negative in numerator or denominator, we could always write like this. So, that is 2xy plus 5x squared x times x, which is 1 over 5. You can write this as minus 1 over 5 also divided by 3 times x square, which is minus 1 over 5 whole square. Now see, 3 and 3 cancel, we are left with minus 1 here, so I could write this as negative 1. Here we have negative, negative, and negative, so 3 negatives, so we get 2 over 15, right? So we get minus 2 over 15. Then we have 1 and 2 negatives, so that makes it positive. 1, 5 cancels. So we have 1 over 5. 
in the denominator we have positive square of negative 1 so we get 3 over 5 square which is 25 correct now you could think about multiplying everything by 25 right 3 over 25 you could do that right or separately if you want to do you can take the common denominator so let's do separately so we have 15 here getting 15 will be minus 15 minus 2 plus 3 times 5 so 3 divided by 3 over 25 correct so now minus 15 and minus 2 makes it minus 17 plus 3 means minus 14 right so so we get here uh, minus 14 over 15 in the numerator so let me write this as minus 14 over 15 and the denominator is 25 over 3 right so divided by 3 over 25 could be written like this we could simplify this a bit multiplying by dividing by 5 and then we can write down our answer so what we get here is 5 times 4 is 20 so so we get 5 times 4 as 20 and 1 70 negative over 3 times 3 which is 9 correct so you could write minus 70 over 9 as your answer or you can take 9 is 7 times 63 7 over 9 with the negative sign correct so that is how we can solve this particular question Question number 7, 8, and 9 involves square roots. So express as mixed radicals. We are given square root of 90. So square root of 90 can be written as square root of 45 is a perfect square. No, uh, I mean, uh, so 90 could be written as 10 times 9, right? 45 will not work, right? 9 times 10 can work. So 9 is a perfect square. So 9 is 3 and we get square root 10 so that becomes the simplified form so this mixed radical 3 whole number square root 10 express as entire radical 3 square root 7 so we could write this as square root of 7 times 3 square right bringing it inside so which is 9 so 9 times 7 is 63 okay question number 9 in one day, a gold mine produces approximately 25,000 centimeter cube of gold. If five days gold production is cast into a cube, how long its edge is going to be? So now we are talking about a cube, right? Whose volume is given to us as five times 25,000, right? So we have this cube here. So cube has all equal sides let's say all sides are x correct so what we are given here is the volume is equal to it says five days production so 25,000 times 5 now that should be equal to x cube since we are casting it into a cube so that means we can find the value of x as cube root of 25,000 times 5 right so which is equal to so 25 times 5 right so we have cube root so we can take this 5 outside and here we have 1000 so times 10 so that gives you 50 and the units are centimeters so the answer here is 50 centimeters is that clear right so now let's work on the last question which is very important it is to express the following decimals in the form p over q so one we have a truncated decimal 1.23 the other one is 1.23423423 something like this which is recurring now we learn how to write this as a rational function p over q rational expression right so let's say let x be equals to 1.23 right so in that case, to get rid of decimal, we could multiply the numerator and the denominator by 100, correct? So what we get here is 123 over 100, correct? Now there is no common factor between these two, so that becomes our solution. Is that clear to you? So you could write this. 
The next one here is you see that 234, 234 repeats, right? So we can write this as x equals to 1.234, where 234 repeats. Now, to find this answer, we can actually multiply this by 1000. So we get 1000x equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, point. So again, decimal moves three units. We again get 234, right? 234 directly. So if I take away from 1000x, 1x, so that is to say we get 1000x minus x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, point. 234 recurring minus 1.234 recurring, right? So that gives us 999x as equal to taking away 1, we get 1, 2, 3, 3, right? So now we could write x as equals to 1, 2, 3, 3 divided by 999. Now that sum is multiple of uh, 3, right? So it is uh, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3, 3, 9. So we could multiply, divide both by 9, right? And simplify this. So 9 times 1, 9 times 1 is 9. So we get uh, 33, 33, 9 times 3 is 27. So we get 63 and 9 times 7 is 63. And dividing this, we get 1, 1, 1, correct? So in this case, this recurring is, is equal to 137 by 1, 1, 1. Is that clear to you, right? So we get this as equal to 137 by 1, 1, 1, correct? So I hope you understand and appreciate how to do such questions, right? Now, let me give you another example here, and that will be an exercise for you. So C, I'd like you to convert 4.248 in fractions in the form of P over Q. And for you, D will be 1.023 recurring, right? So I've changed it a bit. I've made a zero here, right? So let this be your practice test question. So I hope you understand and appreciate how to solve these questions. Feel free to make your suggestions, share with us your questions, and like and subscribe to our videos. Thanks for your time and all the best.